In this video, we will be showing you how to set up tariffs on your solar web system. This can only be done on a web browser and not in the app, so you'll need to open solar web in a browser either on your computer or on your phone. The tariffs show you how much your system is earning. This is what the earnings section is on the solar web dashboard, or if you're on the app, it has its own tab at the bottom. The earnings section gives you an idea of the value of your system. It does this by working out both what you'll be receiving from your power company for your exported solar, and also what you have saved by not buying power from the grid when your home loads have used solar. For example, if your hot water cylinder was heating for three hours and pulling three kilowatts, and your power costs you 30 cents, if this came from your solar, the system would have saved you $2.70, as you didn't have to buy that from the grid. To set up these tariffs, you'll need to go to Settings, and then Tariffs. Here, you'll see there's a reference tariff and a feed-in tariff. The reference tariff is how much you pay for your power, and the feed-in tariff is how much your power company credits you for your exported solar. You can get all of your rates from your power bills. I'll start with the reference tariff. To put in your rates, click Add. Here you'll see a date range as well as the place to put in how much you pay. For your date, you can start either today or you can go back to when your system was installed. For the end date, you can put this in a year's time or in 10 years time or for the length of your current contract with your energy retailer. To put in the tariff, put in how much you pay for your power. For example, 30 cents. Um, this would then say that your power is 30 cents all of the time. If you have cheap rates overnight, you can add another tariff by clicking add tariff and put in that cheaper rate. If that was from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., say, you can select all the times that this tariff applies for. Some customers also have cheaper weekends, in which case you can select the weekend only, just going across these squares. Other plans have multiple different time periods. So for something like Octopus, you could be seeing the likes of this for what your power would look like. And that has time in the middle of the day that's cheap as well. When you're happy with your rates, you need to click power meter, make sure that's selected, and then click OK to save. Next, we'll put in our feed-in tariff, click add, put in your dates. And then put in the rate that you pay. Again, this will be on your bill. Make sure to click power meter. And also, if you have multiple different rates for your export, you can add them under tariff, the same as we did in your reference. Click OK to save. Once the tariffs have been loaded in, you can go back to your dashboard, clicking the back arrow. And then you'll start to see some values going in to your earnings section here. If you've gone back in time with the rates that you've put in, this could take a day to populate properly. Now that your tariffs are set, you'll be able to see what the system is earning, which is broken down into the current day, the current month, the current year, and the lifetime of the system. If you need any help with this, please reach out to the team in the office and check out our other videos on SolarWeb if you'd like to learn about more features.